Hello everyone. Thank you for attending my presentation on effect of surface roughness on antenna array applications for automotive radar applications. My name is Smith Bauwa and I am an application engineer with Altair Engineering. Before diving into the array design and the specifics of this study, I would like to provide a high level overview of today's presentation. To start with, I shall discuss the applications of millimeter wave frequency design. In the same section, I shall introduce surface roughness and how it can affect the millimeter wave design for its applications. In the following section, we shall discuss the automotive cruise control radar as an application and study the optimized design of the antenna array. In the same section, we shall observe the results obtained using perfect electric conductor as the metal in the geometry. In the third section, we shall discuss the effect of varying surface roughness on some key performance parameters like gain and efficiency by replacing the perfect electric conductor with copper with certain thickness. Finally, after observing the results, we shall finally conclude the study and discuss how such a study can aid in engineering decisions. Now, let's start with our first section. In the past two decades, applications that require high-speed communications or data transfers have increased significantly. There are certain applications that require high precision, and for some, it is very crucial that the data is parsed at very high speeds to make quick decisions. These applications can include high frequency imaging, remote sensing, telecommunication like 5G, automotive sensors or radars, security screening, beyond wall imaging, and many more. Switching to millimeter wave satisfies the required conditions and also enables deploying large number of antenna elements in the same form factor due to the small wavelengths. Although the available bandwidth of millimeter wave frequencies is promising, the propagation characteristics are significantly different from microwave frequency bands in terms of path loss, diffraction and blockage, rain attenuation, atmospheric absorption, and foliage loss behaviors. To summarize in, in general, the overall loss of millimeter wave systems is significantly larger than that of a microwave system for a point-to-point -point link. Among other parameters, a factor that contributes to the degradation of the device performance at such high frequencies is surface roughness. Wavelength at millimeter wave frequencies fall in a comparable range to the value of surface roughness in some frequencies. This affects the electrical properties of the conductor as it alters the effective conductivity of the metal used. Surface roughness is a component of surface texture. It can be quantified by the deviations in a real surface from its ideal form. If these deviations are large, the surface can be considered rough, and if they are small, the surface is smooth. In simple terms, the peaks and the valleys of a surface profile shown in the image represent the magnitude of the roughness of a given surface. There are many studies that indicate that surface roughness increases the signal loss and dispersion due to the reduced conductivity. In general, 
a high roughness value is undesirable, but it can be difficult and expensive to control in manufacturing processes. Decreasing the roughness of a surface usually increases its manufacturing cost and this often results in a trade-off study between the manufacturing cost of a component and its performance in an application. One such application that uses millimeter wave frequency in the automotive industry is the automotive cruise control radar. The automotive cruise control or the ACC is an advanced driver assistance system for road vehicles that automatically adjusts the vehicle speed to maintain a safe distance from the vehicles ahead to avoid collisions in various scenarios. This technology is widely regarded as a key component of future generations of intelligent cars. Such a system may use a radar setup allowing the vehicle to brake when it detects the car approaching another vehicle ahead and then accelerates when the traffic allows it to. The radar design needs to satisfy some conditions specific to applications. For a medium range radar, one transmitter at 76 to 77 GHz is considered in this study. The antenna side lobes required must be less or equal to 20 dB in the elevation plane to avoid ground clutter or fixed obstacle detection, for example, bridges, and the main lobe's aperture at minus 3 dB in the same plane, that is the elevation plane, should be less than 10 degrees. In the azimuth plane, the side lobe's level must be as small as possible to keep a margin avoiding artifact and a case of false detection. The ACC radar application requires a low-cost antenna technology for mass production. The most common antennas used are based on microstrip array topology considered as a low-cost solution. In order to fulfill the constraints, the transmitter antenna is made of six columns of patch arrays. The relative permittivity of the substrate is 2.35 and the dielectric loss tangent is 0.004. The dimensions of the radiating patches in the columns are optimized for a 50 ohm reference impedance. In this section, we discuss few performance parameters like return loss and the gain of the design. All the radar array columns are well matched with a reflection coefficient below minus 15 dB as shown on the Cartesian plot at the top left. The return loss for four internal columns overlaps with each other represented by S11, S22, S44 and S55. The return losses of two columns at the end of both sides of the radar are represented by S33 and S66. Since antenna patches are set to PEC, that is perfect electric conductor, the efficiency of the array is 100%, ignoring the dielectric losses in the substrate. The 3D gain plot shown in the image at the top right and the two principal cut planes of the radiation pattern are shown in the images at the bottom. The side lobe level in the azimuth plane and the elevation plane is around 34 dB and 20.43 dB respectively. The maximum gain achieved in the azimuth plane is around 21 dB, whereas in the elevation plane it is around 22 dB because of the beam tilt. The results suffice the conditions for a medium range radar as we had discussed in the previous slides. In this section, we will discuss the use of copper with finite conductivity and the thickness of the copper trace set to 35 micrometers and also varying the surface roughness. 
we will now remove the perfect electric conductor in all the simulation models. The varying RMS values of the surface roughness are obtained from corresponding ISO grade numbers. On this slide, we look at the result after varying the surface roughness and using copper with 35 micrometer thickness. As a baseline, efficiency of the antenna array with zero surface roughness is computed as given in the first row of the table. The table shows the gain, efficiency, and the losses due to, the, due to varying surface roughness. It is observed that the efficiency reduces as the value of the surface roughness is increased. But after a point, the efficiency remains constant. The same is observed for conductor losses. The gain also shows a similar trend. This could be related to the surface roughness in relation to the skin depth. To conclude this presentation, uh, I can say in this study, the effect of surface roughness on the antenna array performance for ACC radar for automotive applications is studied thoroughly. After observing the data presented in the previous section, surface roughness can significantly reduce the efficiency and hence the gain of the array. For critical applications that need precise values of these parameters, designers or engineers should evaluate the effect of surface roughness before prototyping the design to estimate the overall degradation. Such a study can also aid in selecting the appropriate manufacturing grade based on the applications to ensure balance between the cost and the accuracy of the designed product. This study can also aid in identifying the right material properties that can be used for specific applications that require high precision. In addition to this, the study can be extended to evaluate the effect of surface roughness on different metals that can be used to design and print such antenna arrays. Thank you very much for viewing this video. Please reach out to us for any questions or concerns.